Okay, so I know everybody's super busy and isn't always available to come into the office. Um, so I'm gonna make a quick video uh, to show y'all the basics of this new system that we're using, HHA Exchange. Um, starting Tuesday, August the 1st, the MediKey system will be going down. You'll no longer be able to use the key fob. You will have to use this HHA Exchange system. So um, I'm not gonna have all the answers at first. So I will be doing a later training where I will bring y'all in in person um, due to I'm still doing training I just did a training this morning I'm still learning out all the kinks and everything so once I have information I will give it to y'all but I just want to come on here and do some basics that way come Tuesday y'all will be able to clock in and out so the first thing you'll need to do is download the HHA exchange app so this is what it'll look like in your app store once you've downloaded it you will create an account. Um, you'll go down here to sign up. You'll type in your information. Once you've done that, um, it will send you an email telling you how to get into your account. You'll go to your email, you'll check that, go back to the app, log in, and once you've logged in, you will um, also get an email that looks like this and it'll have your unique mobile ID on there. Once you get this email, if you will forward it to me at quality help, I mean at meridian at qualityhelpms.com, then we can get you put in the system. So once you've downloaded the app, um, I'm gonna show you what to do to clock in and out. I'm gonna pause throughout this video and explain a few things because um, he doesn't go into very much detail, but this will at least show you what the app looks like. It is very important that you download the app and you email me that code before Monday. If you have problems, please call me and come in. If you think you need some additional training, please call me and come in. Um, if you think you've got it from this video, that's fine too. But I just wanted to give you all some basic information and those of you who have some extra questions, come in. And like I said, um, most of the problems or the kinks that we're gonna be working out with this system is probably gonna be learned as we go. Y'all bear with me, I'm learning as well. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna show you this video. Okay, so this will be the home screen. Um, what I'll do is I'll get a master schedule. So you should have all of your visits in today's schedule. It may not happen right away. It's probably gonna take me some time to get y'all schedules in. Um, but for the first visit, it'll probably be under unscheduled visit. Um, you will have access to your patients and your patients alone. Um, nobody else will have access to their information. Um, but once I get y'all schedules in, you will automatically have your visits in today's schedule. So you'll just click it, click the patient you're going to see, and it'll be just like this video with the unscheduled visit, but it'll be under today's schedule. I will now highlight the HHA Exchange mobile app for unscheduled visits. From the member's valid GPS address, the caregiver logs into the HHA Exchange mobile app. First, the caregiver will select unscheduled visit. In this view, the caregiver will have access to a list of specific patients that the agency has assigned to them in the HEG exchange system. The caregiver will select the patient that they would like to clock in for. Here, the mobile app displays patient name, service codes, buttons for clock in and clock out. The caregiver will go ahead and select the service code associated with. Okay, so the service code is going to be essentially our provider ID. When you call and clock in and it asks for your provider ID, that is what this number is going to be. It's not going to be the same, so I will give y'all the provider ID or the service code as soon as I have it. With the services being performed on this visit. Caregiver will go ahead and clock in for that service. The caregiver will select the GPS button to make sure that they are within range of the member's valid GPS address. Um, if for whatever reason you don't have signal or you don't have access to a smartphone, there is a phone line that you can use. It's the, you have to use the patient's phone line. And if that is an option you think you're gonna have to use, please call me and we'll go over that as well. Otherwise, you will always click GPS to clock in 
and your phone will ping to the person's address wherever you're located and you'll be able to clock in. Um, I realize some of you go and run errands. As long as you clock in at the patient's home and you clock out at the patient's home, you're able to go and do whatever you need to provide those services. And like I said, if you need to use the phone line, just call me or make a uh, call up here. We'll figure out how to come in and I'll go into further detail about that. But as for most people, they will be using the app. They will be using the GPS clocking in and out. Once the caregiver verifies their location on the map, they will select confirm. A screen will display indicating a successful clock in. Caregiver selects OK. And that is how you successfully clock in utilizing AGG Exchange mobile app for unscheduled visits. Now that you've clocked in for an unscheduled visit, the system will go ahead and place that visit in today's schedule so that you can clock out. The caregiver will go ahead and log into the AGG Exchange mobile app from the member's valid GPS address. The caregiver will select today's schedule. The caregiver will select the current visit that they would like to clock up. So here in today's schedule, you'll be able to see where you clocked in and where you clocked out. So those are the times you'll write down on your timesheet. And we will still be using timesheets. They will have to sign. Um, but this should be easier going forward once we figure everything out because you won't have to say, oh, did my call go in? Oh, did I forget to clock out? It will be right here in front of you and it will help you keep track of that as well. So the times that you clock in and out, not the times on the main schedule, the times you actually got there and the times you actually clocked out is what you'll write on your timesheets. Before. The caregiver will verify that they're clocking out for the correct service code and select clock out. The caregiver will select the GPS button to make sure that they are within range of the member's valid GPS address. Caregiver verifies their location on the map and then they will go ahead and select confirm at the bottom. The mobile app will display plan of care duties Caregiver checks off the duties performed for this visit. If a duty was not performed, caregiver leaves it blank. If the duty was refused, the caregiver selects the X button next to that duty. For some agencies, a drop box appears for the caregivers to select the reason for refusal. Once duties have been verified, the caregiver selects the save button at the top right of the screen. A screen will display indicating a successful clock out. Caregiver selects OK. And that is how you successfully clock out for an unscheduled visit. Okay, so like I said, that's just the basics of clocking in and out. Um, I, there is going to be further training, but I just need y'all to be able to clock in and out come Tuesday until I have all the information. This is new. Y'all please work with me. I'm also learning. Um, we, this is not an option. This is not something we're throwing on y'all. This is something that, um, all of Mississippi, we are no longer doing the MediQ system. We are going to this HHA exchange. So it is very important that y'all download this app today and get me the number at the latest Monday. I have to have it by Monday. I've got to put y'all in the system or you will not be able to clock in and out. Um, so if you have any questions, you're not able to download anything like that, call me, we'll make an appointment for you to come in and we'll train some more. We'll go over some details. Any questions y'all have, just call me and let me know. The next few weeks are gonna be hectic. Y'all please bear with us. Uh, and like I said, I will get with y'all with some extra training, but that is it for right now for the basics. And just please get me that code, email it to me, um, and let me know if y'all have any questions. Thanks.